What's going on, everybody? Come back. Got a special video for you on this Tuesday. Think you're going to like it? Come on back. guys i'm here with danny with tennessee deer stalker outdoors hey everyone how are you doing out there and we have an announcement to make we want to do a youtuber slash social media meetup here at cumberland mountain state park we're going to be doing it may 13th through the 15th i want y'all whether you're any kind of outdoor channel whether it's on instagram youtube i don't care if you're a tiktoker we want you to come out and camp out with us for those three nights or two nights three days and let's get together and talk about our social media stuff and do some hiking do whatever if you're in jeeps you're not far from um wind rock you're not far from nemo's tunnel so you can go run those things and come back and camp out but it's just to be a great time for fellowship and hang out with one another from our channels and yeah. meet and greet yeah, I think it'll be a good time, Patrick. I, think I really it will do. Too. We'll have uh, we got fishing down here, and there's also a golf course, a, a good yeah. Restaurant. Bring your golf clubs. Yeah, bring your <laughs> golf clubs. Just don't bring them around me. But no, uh, there's a great restaurant down here to eat dinner at, and we're planning on doing a uh, cookout over here at one of the pavilions if we can get it rented, so that uh, you know we can all kind of gather up in one spot rather than try and do it at a specific uh, camping area, and. Uh, so I think we'll have a good time and have some good fellowship and swap some stories and tell some lies. Yeah. Do all that good lies. stuff. <laughs> so anyways, May 13th through the 15th, we would love to have you out. So if you're coming through the area, cause that's about the time people start taking some vacations, make it a weekend with us and we'll hang out together. All right. We'll see y'all there. See you there. Okay. So if you come down to the meetup and you decide you want to eat one meal at the restaurant, well, I got some vittles. And not only that, but you get a good view. You see out there, see the geese down there hanging out. But by the time that happens, those guys will be north in Canada again. But anyways, um, they've got a restaurant that serves lunch and dinner. So I'm eating a quick lunch and then we'll go around and see some more of the park. I want to thank Danny while I'm sitting here for meeting me down here and helping me pull this together. I can't wait to see you guys in May. We'll be back a little bit. Alright guys, so we're going to ride around a little bit. I hope you appreciated the announcement. And I hope I get a bunch, we get a bunch of people to come in for this event. Um, like I said, we got a lot of planning to do. Things we want to get done. Um, the whole uh sitting down together and having a meal maybe one night one day whatever 
I hope we can make that come to fruition. I think that would be really cool. Good time to uh, fellowship and everything while everybody's here together. Um, but then too, my camp will be open for everybody to come in, sit down, bring a chair, and let's jaw about uh, the outdoors and our adventures and our what we do. Um, one of the things you will see here is that bridge right down there old bridge now this camp was built by the ccc the conservation corps back in the depression era they built these camps um to get people back to work is what they used the whole thing for was to get people back to work um you know from the depression this is one of the hiking trails down here that goes around uh, there is a small waterfall. I'm not going to show you because I want you to come see it. Um, I have got an older video of this place. I will put it up there in that little place. Uh, but real quick, I'll drive through and show you the cabin areas um, just up ahead. And then we'll go back and look, take a look at the campgrounds. We'll talk about that. Uh, so this is the cat, one of the cabin areas uh, that you can see in front of me. Uh, really nice cabins. I know a few years back they did some uh, works work on them They actually have a couple that are duplexes. So they're not as big as uh, the others and Some of, I don't know if which ones of these were built by the CCC But I know there are a couple I think this brick one that's off to one side I'll have a better shot of it that will post was built by the CCC um I'm pretty sure of it. Some of these were built by the CCC. If you look at the brick uh, layouts, I think that's the way they did it. I may be wrong, maybe totally wrong on this. Um, but I know they just got through redoing a bunch of these a couple of years ago, so they're in really good shape. Um, but you got a playground here, so if you got little ones, You've got something for them to do. Uh, we'll take a quick ride down this little road. And then we'll head over to the campgrounds. Now some of these do back up where you can view the lake. Um, so keep that in mind too if you want to do that. And I like some of these are duplexes so they're not as big as some of the others. But anyway... Okay, the cabin in front of us is one of the CCC cabins. Um, verify that. But this is just a loop road that comes through the cabin area <clears throat> up to that main cabin. So, anyways, if you want to get a cabin, they have several to choose from, several styles to choose from. You've got the duplexes, you got the single cabins, and you got the old CCC cabins. And you've got, <laughs> I think, awesome views of anywhere you stay. So let's go over to the tent area and the RV area, and we'll take a look at that. And I'll probably pick which campsite I'm gonna select for my stay here in May 13th to the 15th, we'll see you here. Okay, unfortunately, I can't get to the rest of the campgrounds. All I can do is get to where I'm at right now. Uh, but they have typical bathhouses, uh, picnic table. Um, I'll try and get to where you can see it. There's a tree in the way. There's your grill, uh, typical picnic table, fire pit, and then parking pad, water, electrical. And, uh, let's see. Yep, scared them off. But anyway, this campground's open year round. The rest of them are closed during the winter. So we can't get down there to show you. Um, but I'm probably going to get a camp spot back over in there. I've seen some online that look pretty nice. But uh, yeah, I think it'll be, uh, this is going to be a great weekend for all y'all and for us. But anyway, um, 
Guns uh, right up behind me. Here, I'll turn around. You can see it. Right behind me, they have a camp store in the area. Every area, never can say it. They have birds that you can view that have been injured and they're healing them back before they let them go. Uh, they do that a lot at these state parks. Uh, I know Fall Creek Falls, David Crockett. I know they both have them. So, anyways, guys, uh, let's get back in the truck and we're going to ride around and look at a little more, a few more things. It's been a good day. In one half mile, turn right. All right, everybody. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Can't wait to see everybody that shows up for the social media meetup is what I'm calling it. Um, we really like to see you guys in May. That's the 13th, 14th, and 15th at Cumberland Mountain State Park. You got your choice of a cabin. You got your choice of camping in a tent. Or if you have an RV or pop-up or if you're doing the van life or whatever you're doing if you're an outdoors person outdoors man or woman we want to see you here and want to hang out and fellowship make new friends because I mean let's face it the outdoor community is all about one thing number one is preserving the outdoors for the future and number two enjoying the outdoors so come enjoy the outdoors with us at come to the mountain state park right. whether you're hiking whether you get out there and vote whether you've done some off-roading to get here whatever it takes look forward to seeing you be prepared and we'll see you on the next one